let us see how uh, this Needleman and Munch algorithm executes. Um, we know it is an algorithm that performs global alignments. So, it is a dynamic programming algorithm uh, written by Needleman and Munch in 1970. So, we create a matrix. Uh, we put an extra row and a column. So, as to align the gaps at the start of the matrix. So, we can start with a gap on anywhere. Um, this is our scoring scheme. For this example, we take the match as plus 1, a mismatch, mismatch as minus 1 and a gap penalty as minus 2. So, first we create a matrix. So, that is a two dimensional matrix. So, on one side we have one sequence T, G, G, T, G. On other side we have another sequence A, T, C, G, T and we fill up the first column whereas we fill up the first row also. So, actually we are here in this case we are changing the column but we are not uh, changing the rows. So, on the rows uh, we are standing at the same position. So, we have a situation where we are introducing the, the gaps on the second stand. So, in this way we keep on adding that gap penalty and since score is accumulative from the previous score, so we come up with minus 2 then becomes minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10. Same way we move to the bottom uh, where we take our first column. We are not changing the column, we are changing the rows and similarly we can have the penalties like this. So, our matrix is created. Now, we start from here A and T. We see that both of them they mismatch and this the score of the mismatch is minus 1. And this will add into the pre from the previous vertical score we can add up. Either we come from the top where we can add this minus 2. So, in that case our score will be minus 2 plus minus 1. So, that is equal to minus 3 which is not one possibility. The other possibility is we can come from here. So, we can add this while now we are introducing the gap in our alignment and in that case we are having a mismatch while we are coming from a gap. So, in that case our cumulative score will be then minus 3. Minus 3 if we come here, minus 3 if we come here. So, if we come from this diagonal line score is 0 plus minus 1 which is minus 1 right here. So, which one among us name is the maximum guys as per the algorithm minus 1. So, we will take this score coming from the diagonal. So, this red arrow over here is a pointer which is telling us that we derived this score from the diagonal. So, it will help in the last step or in the trace back step. So, likewise we keep on moving in all cells and we keep on adding all these scores or picking up the maximum scores and in the end we fill the complete matrix. So, this is how we have filled it a part of it. So, we have seen a small section and here is uh, where we have the full picture out of it. Then we keep our pointers and they will tell us how their our actual alignment it goes off. So, we start trace back then. So, here pointer comes uh, tells us that we get this score from here. So, actually we were uh, putting a gap on one of the stands. So, we were changing the column, we were moving here but on the other stand we were at the same point. So, actually it will be something like where we have a G here and in the opposite stand we will have a gap situation. Here uh, we get T and T, they match with one another and then we move upwards. So, in this way or sequences they keep on aligning with one another. So, we get R scores from the horizontals except the first one. So, here we have the gap on the top stand whereas we have the element on the bottom stand. So, our alignment finally looks like this. So, while keeping track of our trace back pointers if you remember uh, we had some situation like this. So, we had a gap on bottom stand and element on the top stand and then we had this long diagonal and then we end up uh, we have situation like this where we have again a gap on top stand versus there was an element on the bottom stand. So, in this way our final alignment is something like this. This goes corresponds to this one, corresponds to this one and this part is actually corresponding to this diagonal. So, in this section we have executed this Needleman and Wunsch algorithm. It performs global alignments of two sequences and basically it is a dynamic programming algorithm and it performs the alignment of two full sequences.